staffing shortages. Joining us now to discuss the state of education and the pandemic here in our state, State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning, Jason. Great to be with you. And good to have you on. And I want to start with this. It's kind of made controversy here this week. What are your thoughts on what Education Secretary Ryan Walters tweeted about keeping schools open? You know, our focus is to keep schools open and our school district leaders are doing everything they can right now, pulling people into classrooms that normally are working in office positions but what or to serve meals. But what we are seeing is our children are sick and out of school. Parents are sick and um, trying to navigate the virus. And of course, teachers and staff are also sick. If people aren't there and they're sick at home, we can't have school. So he's calling right now on teachers, churches, community leaders, all those folks to step up and, and substitute here. Are you calling for the same? Oh, of course, our focus is to keep our children in school. They must be in a classroom face to face to get the optimal education. Most of our families expect for a safe place when their children go to school. Uh, and we know that we have a lot of learning loss to reclaim after the disruptions uh, that we saw last year during COVID. Uh, so we are really asking the community to help us reduce that spread. When the community has significant COVID, like we're seeing right now with the Omicron variant raging through the state, it's going to impact our schools. I know Secretary Walters uh, said that he would step up and become a substitute if necessary. Would you be willing to do the same? Oh, this is something we're already working on, of course, and have been part of, uh, in fact, teams of folks all across the state. You can see in Western Heights as well. Everyone is pitching in to do their part. We have folks in the State Department of Education going into uh, bus routes, helping with that as well. And uh, of course, I, I am scheduled uh, to be in Western Heights uh, to help out tomorrow as well. So I know all of this is unpredictable, but how likely is it that this virtual learning goes beyond the short term uh, right now and we have exterior, extended periods of virtual learning? I think this is just like a winter um, weather storm. We are in a COVID storm. Uh, when people can't get to school because they're ill, because they're sick, uh, then we have a pause. Unfortunately, uh, we really need to see more people vaccinated, uh, getting their booster shot so that we can contain this. Uh, what we're seeing is that a very small percentage of our students are actually uh, booster va or vaccinated and adults boosted. And we need to see that increase so that our kids can be face to face with the their teachers in school. That's the goal. Then that's what we really need to focus on so that our kids can be in school as they deserve and should be. There's a lot of focus on substitute teachers right now. I know there's bills being introduced here in the uh, session coming up in February. How did we get to this point where we don't have enough substitutes to step in and, and, and fill in the gaps here? Well, this is exacerbated by the teacher shortage. The fewer teachers that we have, we are reaching out to those uh, who normally might substitute that have a degree uh, that are then asked to be an emergency certified teacher. And when you deplete that pool of volunteers or substitutes that are now actually working to be a certified teacher, you have fewer that have stepped forward to then be those guests and substitutes in classrooms. It is a very important time that we also realize this is not a shortage only in education and COVID is impacting all businesses and communities. Uh, we know that everyone just needs to focus on staying healthy, stay home if you're sick, get a test if you have any doubt, wear a mask and get that booster shot. So we know that with a pandemic as, as, as uncertain as this one, many more days like this are potentially coming where school, so schools are shifting to virtual learning. I want to know, what are you doing in your capacity as state superintendent to make this less painful moving forward? Well, certainly it is important that our our families have the opportunity to be in person. We do look at the modeling from the public health officials at OU at in our own state uh, health department. And we see this as a sh very, very short term spread right now that should peak uh, within the coming weeks and fall. Uh, but what we can do to prevent further spread is again, uh, take that responsibility of getting vaccinated and boosted 
particularly if you're already eligible for that. That will help our kids be able to have teachers uh, healthy and ready to give them the instruction they need face to face. So as you can imagine, there are a lot of frustrated parents out there. I was reading through some of the messages and comments to the station. I saw one parent say, and this kind of touched me here, they have a kid in pre-K, they have a kid in first grade, both parents work. He says, do you expect him to just quit his job, stay at home, teach, and then just hope the bills magically get paid? That's the sentiment from a lot of parents right now. What do you say to them that are watching this morning? They should be angry. They should be furious that COVID was allowed to get out of control like this. Um, we needed to have a leader at the very top that led by example, that got that booster shot, that helped our state reduce the spread now because we were prepared. Unfortunately, our kids are paying that price. Kids need to be in class with a teacher. Uh, they need to have the confidence they'll be safe in school. This is not about filling adults in classrooms to babysit. Our kids need to learn and we are focused on that and we want them back in school. We do not like that our schools are forced into this situation because there aren't enough people that are healthy to be in school instructing. All right, State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you.